Here's an interesting trick for creating LFOs in your automation. First of all, select whichever envelope you'd like to automate. In this case, we'll do volume. What I have here is just uh, some white noise. We're going to do a time selection of the area that we'd like to automate. Right click in the automation track. Insert new automation item. And if you double click on this, you have some automation item properties. We can select an LFO shape of a sine wave, number of cycles that we'd like, just to demonstrate what this sounds like. Of course, you can have more cycles. So by, you saw these, uh, manipulating these basic parameters, frequency, skew, tilt, uh, the phase, amplitude, skew, you can generate really, really dynamic shapes. And the nice thing is this automation is essentially an item. So we can copy this, control C, I just selected this little box, control C or command C. Let's say we want the same effect in an EQ. Add the re EQ. Um, we'll remove some frequency bands and just have one that is a bandpass filter. I think this is what Julian was doing in class. And now we want this to just go up and down like this. So I am going to click on the automation for the frequency of our bandpass filter. Just select this track and control V. And there you go. You can manipulate these independently. I don't know if you select both of them. No, I guess it's not possible to manipulate them at the same time. But the result is a nice coordination between the amplitude and the filtering. Oh, they're a little bit off. Let's get a more dynamic shape here. I'll copy this. Paste it down here. You can hear that ascending filter sweep. If you want to hear the low end more. So this is a really powerful tool. Uh, the other little trick that uh, we saw in class today, Julian pointed out, if you click on parameters, parameter modulation MIDI, um, it would allow us, let me delete this, another way of thinking about LFO. So another way of sort of generating this material, and then you can of course record this automation if you want. Uh, two different ways of thinking about this, both very, very powerful, and they'll save you a lot of time for having to draw this. This is useful for when you have an idea of a large scale section or form, you know kind of what direction it wants to go in, and then you can tweak uh, automation of any parameter, even panning, volume, any parameter of any effect, um, to generate some really interesting morphologies between all of these different uh, envelopes. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know.